On Fox tonight, we're staying on top of a developing story in North Portland where police tell us that two students were hurt in a shooting near Jefferson High School. Investigators say one of the students ran into the school after being shot. Fox 12's Jeffrey Lindblom has been at the scene all day long and joins us live tonight with the very latest. Jeffrey? Well, Pete and Nora, we're here outside of the gymnasium at Jefferson High School. And although school was out when gunshots rang out near here, Two kids did manage to get caught in the middle. Pop, 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 pop. Charles Daniel Coleman was fixing shingles right across the block from Jefferson High School when he heard what he initially thought was fireworks. When I saw those children running into the, running back into the school, I knew it was shots. Within an hour, the area was covered with evidence markers. Police tell us two students were hurt in the shooting, with one boy being shot in the leg and a girl suffering a possible graze wound to the hand. Investigators say they don't know if the students were the targets of the shooting. The mother of an eight-year-old who lives steps away from the school says it's nothing short of scary. Because it's so close and I live right here and his school is not too far away, so it all kind of ties back together to the neighborhood and how safe we're trying to keep it. When we were on the scene, we saw police investigating a crashed car at a nearby intersection, but they're unable to tell us if they believe that car is connected to the shooting. Charles Daniel Coleman says he saw the vehicle after the shots rang out. It got quiet after that car left. The, the students went inside the school. The mother we spoke with says she watched as students still on campus were later released to their parents. Because it's just a real scary thought that you can come outside and it's right here. Lashante says adults need to step up, making sure kids are informed and aware of their surroundings. Coleman agrees, saying adults need to guide kids down a better path, one that teaches them gun violence isn't the solution to anything. You're shooting randomly. This is a cowardly thing to do. Children could get hurt. Innocent people can get hurt. You don't have to do that. There's another way. As far as suspects and motive goes, police are yet to release any of that information if they have it. I do want to let people know that the two students who were involved and injured in the shooting are expected to be okay. Live here in North Portland, I'm Jeffrey Lindblom for Fox 12 Oregon.